Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little while since I uploaded a video, um, so I felt like I needed to check up or check in and just say hi. But while I was thinking about that, um, I felt inspired to do a, a little video and talk about like careers and um, trying to decide what you want to do in the future. I had like a young lady, um, reach out to me that made me think about talking about it so um just want to share my experience of um deciding on what i wanted to do growing up and everything like that um so this will be like a little story time um or something but yeah so when i was growing up i just i seemed to be that one kid that didn't know what they wanted to do like everyone around me seemed to know exactly what they wanted to do in life. And I don't, I think I kept it to myself. Like, like I used to think about it a lot. Like I'm saying like a lot, aren't I? But yeah, um, I just used to think like, why do I not know what I want to do in life? How come everyone seems to get it and they know exactly what they're going for and everything like that. Um, and at the time I didn't think to, I didn't know who to speak to about it because who do you really speak to about that, especially when like everyone else seems to know exactly what they're doing and everything else and I don't think I got pretty good grades at school or anything like that so I was just like, I don't know, I don't think I got school to be fair but um, as time went on I decided to do travel and tourism I don't know what the thought process was behind that one. I think I like the idea of traveling and everything, so I thought maybe I'll do that. So I did I did that course, um, not realizing that whatever you choose to do at college or whatever is to help you have a good future or a good career. Um, like to provide for your family or whatever. I don't think I grasped that idea. I know, looking back now, I'm like, what were you thinking? But um, some things take a while, like it takes some people longer to, to know what they wanna do. But as time went on, um, after I went to college, if I had my little girl, so I kind of took a, break from learning or studying or anything. I didn't really use um, my travel and tourism at all, but like a year or so after having my little girl, I was like, I really want to do something, but I just couldn't think. And I remember having a conversation with my husband um, and I remember saying to him, I do like beauty, like I like, the thought of like doing makeup and doing that kind of thing on people and he was like why don't you go for it I was like yeah that's what I'm gonna do so applied did beauty and before I went on the course I didn't really realize what it had what you had to learn in it and everything um, I didn't realise you have to learn like the muscles and everything like that. It's quite a hard course. Um, it's not as simple as you think it would be, but yeah, you have to learn all the muscles and everything. Um, and then after I did that, I decided to work for myself, like doing beauty and stuff. Because I'm a people person, I love people, and I thought I could use this and, you know, make people feel good. and and stuff so yeah it wasn't until I think two three years ago when like my passion for beauty was like even I don't know like these treatments that I learned to do that I absolutely love now and um can you tell this isn't a planned video <laughs> I'm so random if you've watched my previous videos you know I just my mind is like a tree like I've said in my last videos so yeah it will be a bit of random um but yeah so in recent years 
while I've taken, since I've taken my faith a lot more seriously, like God's revealed to me that whatever career you you choose or you decide on doing eventually, um, use it for His glory. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like now there's a purpose in what I do. Like, whereas before it was just like a job or you know just something you did but now I every client or every person that I have or appointments I I pray and ask God to help me in helping them in whatever they're going through because what you start to realize as well is that um, it's more than beauty and people like will open up to you you become like a therapist um, and I don't know I just feel like there's more purpose in it now um, like I feel like God's showed me um, Chana your ears dropping well <laughs> someone just called you did they? yes are they still on the phone? no Bye-bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. Okay. Um, I can't remember what I was talking about. Korea. How to decide what to do. I'm going to think of a few steps that can help you if you're not sure what to do. So, as time went on in my beauty career, I had people telling me I was good at certain things like helping people dress and you know people would ask me for hair advice or you know loads more things sometimes you don't know what you're good at until others point it out to you and things that come naturally like sometimes what you should do in life it's something that comes naturally to you like for me dressing people or um doing anything to do with beauty it comes naturally like I don't find it hard like it's so easy to do um, so when it comes to picking something you want to do in life you can either ask people around you to um, to help you um, by telling you what they think you're good at like write a list of things that you're good at or things that you enjoy um, don't feel under pressure just because everyone around you knows what they're doing. Like, don't feel like you have to um, pick straight away. Pray about it. Pray about it and then go from there and see what road God leads you down. But yeah, I'd say those are the two main things. Have a little think of what you enjoy doing ask others around you um, what they think you're good at doing and then go from there have a look at what you could do because another thing that I've learned is you can literally achieve anything you put your mind to it I used to only think that certain people were made to be successful but I, it's a mindset and I think if you have that mindset of not giving up like you don't want to give up like I I think I'm a pretty determined person like I've learned that as years go on as well you learn more about yourself and I've definitely learned that I'm one determined person like if I want to do something I'll just do it and try not to worry about what others think try not to think about that too much just concentrate in about think about your road like do you know what I mean? What road God has you on? Because I think a lot of people struggle with it too, like trying to decide what they want to do and, and everything. So, yeah, I hope that was helpful. Help, help. I, help, I hope that helped you a little bit um, because sometimes you see others and you think they, they got where they are very easy or whatever. It's hard. It's just determination that keeps you going and if you're the kind of person that won't give up you will go far in life but yeah thank you for watching 
I'm not sure when I'm going to record a, another video, but I'll, if you want to like keep up to date with things, I'm quite active. If I'm quiet on YouTube, I'm active on Instagram and my Instagram name is the same name as this channel. So, and I'm on Facebook as well. So yeah, um, if you've got any other tips on helping others find a career or how you found your tri trip, comment below and let others know. Because sometimes as well, what you start off doing, like whatever course you start off doing, you might get into it and think, oh, this isn't what I want to do. Um, so yeah, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.